It's time for our technology report and joining us now is our tech reporter, Paul Ndiho. Hello, Paul. Hello, Esther. Ghana is making significant advancements in science and technology. The country prides itself on having outstanding technical institutes known for higher quality education in West Africa. Building on this e existing ecosystem is the Africa Center for Technical Training, an, initi an initiative that offers life-changing technical skills and hands-on training to prepare students for real-world work. For more insight, I spoke to Penelope Brooke Thompson, founder of the Africa Center for Technical Training in Ghana. Welcome to Africa 54. Thank you so much, Paul, for having me. You are coming up with the African Center training young people with the new skills. Are you excited about it? Are some of your friends are excited about this project? What is it all about? We are really excited to do this work. Um, we run an organization called African Center for Technical Training. We just founded it in 2020, last year, in 2022. And basically, it's a technical and vocational training institute. Um, what we're trying to do is really to use technology as a tool to disrupt technical and vocational education and training. So we're going to be training um, young people and artisans in plumbing, electrical work, mechanical, painting, etc. When I've talked to people who are into construction, uh, people who are trying to uh, maybe put a house or even build commercial properties, the one thing they always talk about is they don't have uh, people who are skilled enough, let's say electricians, plumbers, uh, roofers, uh, people who can do that stuff. And I'm happy to hear that uh, somebody is finally uh, bringing that uh, to the forefront and uh, setting up a center to train those people. What we're trying to do is create alternative pathway where young people can now, you know, decide to go into plumbing uh, or welding and then make this industry very attractive. Because what's happening is you know, it's, it's estimated that about 10 to 12 million people join the African workforce every year, right? And that's simply not enough typical, you know, nine to five jobs to for these people to be enrolled onto. And and so in Ghana alone, that's potentially 80,000 people every other year. If your family doesn't have a business, you join or you don't have education, then your life really pretty much ends today. So what we're trying to do is open up opportunities for people to gain skills because when you have a skill, then you can, you know, earn a living, earn a decent living, have a decent livelihood. So it's exciting stuff. Some of those uh, uh, areas that you talked about, uh, for example, electrical uh, engineering, uh, plumbing, uh, uh, people who, who are artisans, people who are really good at what they do, those are some of the most lucrative jobs that you can find. They even pay better than the quote-unquote professional jobs. It's not the same here. So here, because we have a problem with the quality of our training, um, you could pretty much work with an artisan the whole day and pay a very, you know, like little amount. So they're not exactly living um, the way they should, right? So what we want to do is improve that quality of training. There's a problem of soft skills. They generally don't have soft skills. They don't understand customer service. They'll tell you they sh they'll come to work at 9 o'clock. If someone gave them another gig somewhere, they won't show up at all and they won't tell you why either. And then you're just, your project just you know comes to a halt. We want to focus more on practical training as well. You know, have very well-equipped workshops, introduce new tools and technology that they can use. You know, when you think about, say, plumbing, now we have water leak detection technology. We want to bridge that gap, bring that all of those tools here, provide access to these technologies so that the training can be done really well. And then um, they can then make decent living. They can then ask for the amount that they are owed. Uh, you talked about uh, the lack of soft skills. And uh, I see it across uh, the continent. Uh, people, for some reason, have refused to understand the value of time. Uh, here, if I make an appointment with a contractor, they tell me they're going to be here at 11, and they don't show up at 11. I'll start calling, wondering what's going on, because I value my time. So I put everything aside to make sure that I'm there 
for them in Ghana where you are it's still a problem what can you do as a center maybe to raise awareness so if you want to train our artisans to be you know professionals with 21st century business skills and, and to be ready for the market it means that as an institution our culture needs to mimic that you can't come to class late as staff we need to show up to work on time we need to do all the right things if we want to train ethical artisans as a team we need to be ethical it needs to be part of our culture and so that's the hard work that we need to do to make sure that every per single person who comes through the institution embodies the values that we have and those those three values for us are craftsmanship innovation and empowerment thank you so much for your time thank you paul thank you so much that was uh, Penra Brooke Thompson, a founder of the Africa Center for Technical Training in Accra, Ghana. That's uh, today's uh, tech report. Uh, back to you, Esther. Thank you, Paul. Be sure to join Paul every Wednesday for his tech report right here on Africa 54.